Hey, this is Renee from the Birthplace of Country Music Museum, and today we are going to talk about the banjo. This is a, an instrument that everyone is familiar with in this, in, from Appalachia and beyond, um, and they really it's really associated with the type of early commercial old time music, bluegrass music. And there is a perception that it is an instrument that sort of got its start here in America, but it has a much older history than that. It was actually an instrument that was brought over to America with enslaved peoples from Africa. And it's sort of based on an earlier instrument that was made from a gourd with a hide cover and strings. Um, very similar to a banjo, but a little bit different in format, and often used in both for the string capability, but also as a percussive instrument. Over the years, after it was brought here by those enslaved peoples and um, introduced to the musicians in America, there was a blending of different types of songs and styles of playing, and the banjo became more and more common in um, that kind of music, especially early string band music, and sort of became something that we just see all the time in that kind of, those kind of bands. Um, what's interesting about the banjo also is, you know, when it, before it came over, or when it came over here, it was known by similar terms, such as banjars, bandoras, banzas, um, and it was brought here in the late 1700s, but by the time we get to the early 20th century, it was being sold in places like the Sears and Roebuck catalog. So you could go to the Sears and Roebuck catalog and buy just about anything you needed, from clothes to house plans to musical instruments. And it was a really affordable way to get an instrument like that. Um, they sold all sorts. And in fact, that is probably one of the main reasons why there aren't a lot of surviving 1927 sessions instruments from the artists who played there. Probably because a lot of those were bought from this early Sears and Roebuck catalog and they were pretty cheap for the time, um, affordable, easy for people to, to have in their home. And a lot of them just haven't survived as long into the time that we are now, or they're still with the family. So it's a great way to sort of think about these instruments and just remember the banjo comes from much further away than you would expect. Mm -hmm.